Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. All right, so Sean Strickland, you know, he's been a... Uh, He's been in the news. He's always in the news, right? <laughs> but this time, you know, uh, Song Yadong, UFC bantamweight contender, mm -hmm. he had uh, responded to uh, Sean Strickland's uh, xenophobic rant mm -hmm. uh, aimed at Chinese people. Right. Right? So the thing about Sean Strickland is that when he does interviews, it's almost like he's playing a character yeah for and sure. he's living a character now right yeah. of mm -hmm. like uh i'm gonna say things but i'm like half joking but not joking yeah you know and i'm trying to like educate people so right. this is what he said um in an interview and he was i think yeah he was being interviewed by a chinese person was it helen helen Yee? Helen Yee, I think that's yep, her name, yep, yep, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So basically, this is what uh, Sean Strickland said. Chinamen are the worst. So now, number one, Chinamen, you know, I, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with the term Chinamen, but, you know, Chinamen is a word that kind of, there's like negativity surrounding it. Right, you right. Know what I mean, I don't know the history of the word Chinamen, but, but if you called somebody a Chinamen, like, I don't think it's, it's like racist or anything like that, but if, if you're saying it in a negative way, I guess, mm -hmm. then it, it, it's something's wrong with it. Right. Um, so basically, this is what he, this is, uh, he says some wild shit. Uh, Chinamen are the worst. Uh, they're animals, barbaric, filthy, the worst kind of tourists. Japanese and Korean people are the best. <laughs> I went to Japan in particular, <laughs> and it was a great experience because there were so many nice people there. There are good Asians and bad Asians. Oh, my God. So... These are things that he said. I actually saw the interview. Mm -hmm. And Sean, this is nothing new with Sean Strickland. Like, he's, he's, he says things like Yeah, he says controversial time. things. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and he feels like, he, he almost feels, it almost feels like because he's a fighter, right. like, he can always revert back to, like, fighting people <laughs> if he says things. Right? Yeah. And it's not, there's not many people in the world that are going to step up to some guy that's a professional fighter, a champion. Right. And and and, and want to fight them, right? Because of things that they said, right? Yeah, he's like the ultimate like internet troll, right? Because it's like, it's like, oh well, if we were in here in person, we could sort this out outside. And it's like, not with Sean Sean Strickland, you're not like yeah. that's that's asking to get your ass whooped. Yeah, he's and he's very unstable as well. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure cannons. if you would fight him in the street, like. It wouldn't end with a fist fight. Like right. It, it can escalate into Absolutely. into many different things, right? Because yeah. he's had his issues with certain people, and and he's always challenging them to come to the gym to fight him. <laughs> so you understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's no arguing with Sean Strickland. Right, right. There's no like uh, reasoning with Sean Strickland. Right, right, right. It's just like everything turns into fighting, which yeah. shows you like the. The, the the mental maturity the lack of mental maturity mm. that uh that Sean Strickland has and for some reason he he you know he's calling them animals and barbaric and filthy like other fighters if they said that you know I feel like Kobe Covington said that mm. yeah Kobe Covington said that about Brazil in right. Brazil right <laughs> after he beat up David Maia right? right things like that like but the hate for Colby Covington is, like, at a higher level than yeah. Sean Strickland, it seems like. Right. With, with Sean, it's almost like, oh, he's, you know, it's it's funny, right? With, with Colby Covington, like, putting on that act, it didn't really feel that same kind of humor. You know, like, I'm, I'm sure he was trying to get a kick out of people just to, like, you know, make things more sensational leading up to fights. But, like, that was kind of an interesting way he went about it, too, because... Because, you know, obviously the, the number one thing you would have been able to say, like, without the way he worded it was, oh, like, Sean Strickland must be racist against Asian people or something. And then he says the whole thing about, oh, Japanese and Korean people are the best. It's like, well, wait a minute. So then now you're, like, just hating on a specific country instead of a race. Yeah. So now it's just kind of confusing, right, to the, to the listeners. Like, wait, is he racist or does he just hate China? So it's like, so now there's, there's a little bit of that. And he's... He's kind of towing a fine line with it. Um, like, he's, he, he probably doesn't mean what he's saying, um, <laughs> like, to be fair. 
but also it's like to say these things with a big platform not necessarily the healthiest thing for social media and like if he's got people that look up to him right then it's like they're gonna adopt these opinions too and then that's just a slippery slope yeah he's he's basically sean strickland is what a lot of um you know a lot of like ignorant uneducated you know people in america act like mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you see it all the time, right? Right, Like, right. is he... Basically, Sean, maybe... A, a, he's probably a Karen, but the male version. You know, mm. like Karen, like yeah, yeah, the yeah. white lady that goes around acting crazy? Yeah. Because... Um, so now, going back to the interview, right? The the person that did the interview, Helen Yi, she's mm-hmm. Chinese descent um, in America. I believe she's like Amer- Chinese-American. Right, right. And then Helen Yi is the one that interviewed Song Yudong. Uh-huh. At the same same interviewer right 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 and this is what song Yudong said to her I, last time i saw your interview with sean and i heard him say a lot of negativity about chinese people however i don't think he's been to china before yet believes chinese people are a certain way since he's talking this way he's no different than toxic fans i believe this is discrimination towards chinese people i really respect him as a fighter but what he's saying is not good this is a hundred percent true mm-hmm. number one He's probably never been to China. Right. Number two, um, he's no different than toxic fans. He's no different than, like you said, an internet troll or just a toxic person. Mm-hmm. Um, it is it is discrimination towards Chinese people. And, uh, and obviously we all respect him as a fighter, but he's a piece of shit human being if you... If it's real. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Is it real? Absolutely. And this is uh, what Song Yudong added. He said, uh, if he's willing to, I can show him around China because there... You see... Yeah, that's a classy way to handle yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, you're talking all this shit about China. Right. And you got a Chinese fighter that um, that obviously was, you know, offended by what he was saying. Right. And I would be offended as well, you know. Yeah. Even, you know, it's not... You're doing an interview and you're talking about all these things and, and you're not a comedian, right? It's just not. Unless you're willing to live up to it, you're not a comedian, right? You're right. not joking around. And, and, and he said that... Uh, he said that I'll show him around China to see all the nice things and great people there. Yeah, man, I've been to China a bunch of times. There's always great people. There's great people everywhere. Absolutely. You know, so like generalizing a group of people off like your experiences on vacation mm-hmm. is like just ignorant. And, Absolutely. And yeah. uh, uh, small headed, right? Right, right. Um, yeah, it's it, like I've heard the story. Okay, this is a story I heard. I'm not going to name no names or nothing like that. <laughs> But in, in Las Vegas, right? This is where Sean Strickland trains, yep. right? In mm-hmm. Las Vegas um, at Extreme Couture. Like, Sean Strickland, like, he will go around and call Asian people Chinamen. It doesn't matter, like, who, oh, what Jesus. Asian you are. And you'll do it to the fighters, too. Oh, man. And it's like, to me, you know, some of these fighters, they're like, you know, why are you calling me this, right? It's like, right. it's a, it was a derogatory term. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. For for Chinese people or just Asian people, right? But right. him calling every Asian Chinaman is is very ignorant, right? So it shows you that it's not like is he trying to be funny? Because it's like if we called him like a, a negative word for white people, would he respond the same way? Would right. You think it's funny? True. True. Like, is it because he fights? Mm. You know, and maybe he's bigger than all these. You know, like. What what's the situation, right? Right, like, right. Yeah, this odd sense of security behind what you say because the other guy can't beat you up is like, yeah, that's kind of odd, isn't it? Yeah, and and from from what I heard, he's he. This is what he does. You know what I mean? Mm. So is he going around, you know, calling black people the n word? Like is uh, that what's going on too? Oh jeez. Like think about it. Like yeah, true. Is, is is this what's happening? It maybe it is, maybe it is. I don't know. Like we we don't we don't go to extreme couture, right? Right, right. But the thing is, like he has been doing it for a long time. Yeah. Like I've heard many stories out of Las Vegas. Okay. About I him see. doing these types of things and like, you know, saying things the very awkward, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, to me, I feel like, uh, you know, I, like be- amongst friends, like it's whatever it is, right? But you're yeah. openly doing interviews, looking like an idiot. Right. You know what I mean, like Song Yudong is right to say something about it. Definitely. And I feel yeah. like. All the Asian fighters should boycott Sean Strickland somehow. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how he would do that, but yeah. But I'm just saying, like, and then the people are, you know, 
a lot of people, you know, that are next to Sean, they'll probably just say, oh, that's Sean. That's how he is. Right, right. And, you know, a lot of people told me, like, you know, he's a great teammate. Like, he wants you to do the best. Like, he's huh. in training. He'll tell you, like, things that you're doing right. wrong and how to improve. And, you know what I mean? Like, that's what they say. Like, he's a great teammate. Okay. But outside of that, right. they don't, a lot of people don't agree with the things that he's spewing out in interviews and stuff like that. I see. Um, Sean Strickland, to me... Like, if he came near me, like, I'm a person that's in, like, the media, I guess. Yeah. So, like, if he came and, like, want, like asked me to do it, like, they wanted me to do an interview with him. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll probably do the interview, but would I pursue myself to do an interview with him? Probably not. Mm. It's just because, you know, like, that would just go against, that's just kind of like just getting spit on the, in your face. Right, 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 right. Like, oh, I'm up to the status to where... It doesn't matter what I say about right, Asian yeah. people or Chinese people. Like you, you're gonna interview me anyways. That's true. There is what is it like? There, there's a level of intentional disrespect because of sort of some level of status that you've achieved, right? Like whether it's from some level of skill you've maintained uh, attained as a fighter, or it's like, well, now I'm like he. He probably was kind of like this even before, but it's like, oh, okay. Well, now that I'm at the level I am now, career wise, fighter wise, like internet status wise, yeah, I can say a few things and be disrespectful and you know, people kinda people are quicker to either forgive that kind of behavior or get really angry about it. Or it's just the way for um what's it called? To to get more attention, basically. So like I I don't know which angle he's going at it from. But yeah, it doesn't. It it it's not a very tasteful um, way to do media, for sure. No, it's not. It's not tasteful at all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, um, if 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 this if let's say like John Jones was saying this, right? Let's say like if Henry Cejudo was saying this, would people take it more seriously? You think? Mm. Would like I don't know. I don't know. Is Sean like Sean Strickland should know like he like from his interview with Theo Vaughn, clearly he has childhood trauma, right? Yeah. He, he has uh he understands what being the victim is. Mm -hmm. If he understands what being the victim is, then he would understand like yo Asian people have been the victim of a lot of things. In the right, past, right. You know, and especially in America as well, um, and in globally, right? Like there was this whole stigma of like if it's made in China. It's uh, a right. piece of shit, but yeah. now everything's made in China. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like the best shit, right? Yeah, it's like iPhones. Are yeah, China, exactly. Right? Like is you know, it's like I would think that he would, as a person, as a like a a traveled person, a person that's been around many different types of races and creeds or whatever, mm -hmm. that he would understand that and he would be very careful with what he says. But he's not, dude. He's just like, oh, oh, Helen Yi, you're Chinese, so let's talk about you know, like, I don't know what's she doing. Right. Like, what is she just, she just thinks, I, mean, I guess she believes it's just an act. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Okay. Right, right. right. But, but uh, you know, nowadays the media is all about, like, what shocking thing can you get them to say? And, you know, this, you know, right. that's, just that's why I like, that's why I like, I don't even enjoy it anymore, to mm. be honest. Like, that's fair. You know, but, uh, but the shit talking I enjoy, like shit talking back and forth between fighters is fine. Mm -hmm. But you're attacking something outside of fighting, like right? You know, why? Yeah, it's like fight fighting. You can at least do something about it. Like if you're talking about someone's race, it's like, well, what? I'm not just gonna change my race, right? That's by definition not what race is. Yeah, Song Yadong, man, he's you know he's he's right for being offended, mm -hmm. but it all but also he's he's a he seems like a good guy to wear like. He's gonna. He wants Sean Strickland to come. Yeah, and maybe the, he's setting him up. Yeah, and what? We'll, maybe he's setting him up. That's like, Sean, come to China. <laughs> yeah, and he's got the triads waiting for him. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, like that. What a classy way to respond to that, right? Because it's like, because like, well, this guy just badmouthed my country, right? So like, this guy basically just threw insults at me and my family. But let me just invite him to my house. It's like that's. It, it almost feels illogical, right? Like that kind of conclusion, given what you just heard come out of the other person's mouth. So for him to like extend that and be like, look, you're welcome to come check it out and see what it's like. That's, uh, that's taking the high road right there. <laughs>